Hello everyone. Taking a quiz or a test in Blackboard is a pretty simple process. Now here I have us enrolled in a demo course and I'm just going to show you an example but it's going to be the same for every class that you take. So if I look down here and I'm going to see that there is an example quiz, I can go ahead and click on that link and then it's going to give me some instructions and information. Please make sure that you're reading through this because it has important information uh, regarding whether or not the test is timed, if there are any particular settings you need to know about, um, if you're allowed to save it and come back to it, if you're allowed to take it multiple times. All of the settings for this test are going to be shown here. After you've read through that, go ahead and go over to the right and you'll see this blue begin button. Go ahead and click that. And then what you'll see here is, first of all, this is a time test and so I'm going to see this remaining time block here. Now for myself that makes me nervous. <laughs> I, I do need to know if I'm running out of time but I don't need a bar slowly scrolling over there. It's a bit of a distraction for me. So the good news is that you do have the power to kind of move this out of the way. If you see these two little arrows just go ahead and click that and that will hide your timer. And you can always go back to it. If you want to check and see what time you've got, you can always get, get back to that. But if you notice that it's doing that, it's not doing that in the orientation, but it might in other classes. So if that's a distraction for you, just to let you know that you can, you can collapse that screen. I can also click the question completion status and it will tell me if any of my questions are complete or not. So all I see is all of my questions here are all on the same page and you're going to find that in the orientation as well. Some quizzes and tests are actually going to have one question on each page and they may or may not let you go back and forth. So again, read through those directions every time you take a quiz or a test. I can see bump on question one here and I can just go ahead and put my answer choice here and I've got my four options and I can go ahead and click any one of the boxes and because it's a multiple choice it'll only let me select one. If it's a multiple response it'll let me select several. In some cases you'll see A, B, C, D, some you'll see numbers, some you won't see anything at all. So all you have to do is click your choice. You're going to notice over here to the right that it tells me how many points that question is worth and then that it saved my response for me so that I know that I'm not going to run into any problems with it saving. But it's also a good idea. You see this little option here that says save all answers. You may want to do that every now and then, uh, maybe every 10 or 15 minutes because if you sit for too long and you type a response and then you come back to it, your Java might time out. So it's a good idea to save. I also have a true false option here and that looks you know very similar so I can go ahead and select my choice and then I can scroll down and here's my essay now in the orientation there are no essay options but I can type my response here now let's say I get up and leave and answer the door or answer a phone call or uh, do something else and then come back here's where that saving is important okay if you get up and leave and then try to submit your test, you may run into some problems when you do that. So again, just make always make sure that you are saving your response on a regular basis. Once I'm all done, and I'm pretty sure that I've got it the way I want it, then I'm going to go ahead and hit save and submit. It will tell me, you know, just let you know I am, you are actually submitting this here. Is that what you want to do? And I want to click OK. And then I can see that it gives me uh, information right down to the minute when it was started, when it was submitted, how much time was used out of the time that I had allowed. And then it says I can click OK to review my results. Now if my instructor has allowed me to see something at the time that I'm done, then I'm going to be able to see it. If I click OK, and it's down to the right here. It will take me back into the quiz or the test and I can see the way this one is set up I can see my selected answer, my correct answer and if there's any feedback automatically set up that the instructor has included then that's going to be just below here. So when you take the quiz and orientation remember to click that OK, go back to uh, your quiz or your test, review your responses and then you'll be able to see how you did in relation to how the uh, automatic feedback expected you to do. Once I've done that I can just click OK and then it takes me right back to the content area and I can continue working which is what you're going to see in the orientation as well. If you have any questions or you run into any trouble just give us a holler.